Good morning guys, it's the start of day two in Whistler and today we're going to be hiking from here to here. We got sidetracked but now we really need to run because we might miss the gondola. <laughs> Let's go! We are Haley and Jake. After spending eight months driving around North America in our van Vincent, we've decided to start a ground up van conversion. In the middle of COVID-19, last week we went over our budget. This week we have something a little bit different planned. We just dropped Finley off. We're taking a little trip up to Squamish to go pick up some supplies for the van. And then we're gonna go up to Whistler and spend the weekend in Whistler. Yeah. Let's go. Onward to Squamish. Our plan for this weekend is to check out two van conversion companies, get some parts for the van, and maybe get some ideas. We have windows. They barely <laughs> fit in the car. We, sh we should have brought the van. Home for the next couple days. Woo. Good morning, guys. It's the start of day two in Whistler, and today we're going to be hiking from here to here. Wonderful, see any bears? Want to see a bear? Yeah. Maybe we'll see some bears. So we are hiking the ascent trail up Black Hole Mountain. The total hike we're doing is six kilometers. Uh, the first part is just straight up the mountain, 1200 meters. Then we'll do some hiking at the top. Some cool facts about Black Hole is up at the top, there's still snow. So you can do some snee sneeboarding. Sneeboarding. <laughs> Snowboarding and skiing just at the peak. Uh, Cause it's early in the season. Some of the hiking trails are closed cause there's snow on them, but that's okay. There's so many to do. We're really excited. Yeah. I'm trying to get her breath. <laughs> yeah. This is how high we are. This one's pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> See this? That's lichen. It only grows in areas really clean. And it used to grow in the village down below, but because it's been building up, it's starting to go higher and higher up the mountain. And this is the first we've seen in this trip. These enormous gashes in the tree are woodpecker holes. Don't let the earlier clips fool you. This is actually a really hard hike. I can't remember if I explained correctly, but this isn't a one kilometer hike. It's a one kilometer elevation change, six kilometer hike up the hill, hill, mountain. This is tough. <laughs> Skip Skip <sighs> In the subalpine region, look at all this lichen. The last half K. Pretty gnarly. Okay, see you at the top. We made it. <laughs> We're in the clouds. Oh boy, we're above <sighs> the tree line. <laughs> <sighs> 
Now we're gonna go get some lunch, take a bit of a rest, and continue with the second part of our hike. We could have just taken the gondola here. I think our way was better. Are you ready to rendezvous? Let's do it. Foresight cookies. <laughs> and views. Okay, on to the next part of our hike. It's a little cold. There's quite the temperature change, so the winter jackets are out. <laughs> the next part of our hike is going to take the Overlord Trail and then go around the lake and come back. So, this part of the hike should be as intensive as the first part because we're at the summit, so it should be relatively flat. <laughs> So one of the really cool things about Whistler and Blackcomb is that the resort's actually over two mountains. It's over Whistler and it's over Blackcomb. So you can go up either mountain, they're owned by the same company, and you can actually take the gondola across to both. So today we hiked up Blackcomb starting from the base of the village and walking up. And then we're going to take the peak to peak over to, to Whistler and end up in Whistler Village. Now that we've recovered a little bit, um, we're, there's two ways to get here. You can take the hike that we did up the ascent trail, or you can take the gondola up the roundhouse to the rendezvous, or the roundhouse on Whistler and take the peak to peak over. Since it's early in the season, there's a lot of snow around, some of the trails are closed, we wanted to get a bit more of an extreme hike. Challenge yourselves. So, now that we're up here, we have about four kilometers of alpine hiking to do. And this is really where we came, so it's going to be beautiful. It's supposed to be a beautiful glacier-fed lake at the top of this hike. So that's why we're trekking all this way. Hope it's worth it. getting close to the lake. I think it's at the base of that glacier. Let's wait and see. Wow. <sighs> we made it to the lake. Yes, we're walking through a creek. The fair Haley has waterproof shoes. It is stunning here. Like, even if you don't want to take, do the hike up, take the gondola up and make sure you do some hiking. So we've reached the end of our trail. Because it's so early in the season, it's July right now. Some of the trails are still covered in snow, so you can't walk on them, but they're, they're clearly marked. So we're heading back to rendezvous and we're going to go take the peak to peak gondola. 
From there, we're gonna head over to Whistler, back down the gondola and into the village. We got sidetracked, but now we really need to run because we might miss the gondola. <sighs> Let's go! We're here, but we're late. Let's see if they still let us on. Oh man, look how beautiful that is. that <laughs> that was about an hour run from all the way back I'm still out of breath it's just mind-blowing how much snow they get up here like, it's cool it's, it's cool to see it in winter and summer so we've shown you Whistler we've shown you Blackcomb and that's what makes this such a world-class user yeah it's enormous it's breathtaking it really is a oh. beautiful place if you guys want to see in the winter, go check out our video, one of the first uh, travel videos we made yeah. from Whistler in last December. Mm -hmm. It's up here. Or maybe over here. Maybe we'll maybe. link it somewhere. We'll link it somewhere. <laughs> go check it out. So in total, we did about 16 and a half kilometers today. About seven of it was uphill, and then it was terrain along. So our legs are definitely feeling it. I wish the hot tub was open in the hotel. Oh, now we're going to download to Whistler Village. Okay, we made it to the gondola and we're heading back to Whistler. I hope you guys enjoyed our video of our day in Whistler. It's gorgeous up here and we've loved hiking. In total, we went about 16 kilometers. About seven kilometers, we're going up the mountain. When we get down to the village, we're gonna get a burger and a beer, and I think we've earned them. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a like. Uh, if you wanna see what we're up to, give it a subscribe. We are in the middle of a van build, as most of you know. This video wasn't van stuff, but it's great to go and explore, and we hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. We started our day off all the way down there and we walked all the way up there. Twelve hundred kilometers straight up. Oh, it's twelve hundred meters straight up. There you go. To here. Feel me. To here. Come on. Go. To this. To here. Are we going the right way? Yeah. Okay. Stop. Hammer time. Hammer time.